Good morning. We are back with more content, and today is a very special uh, day because we're gonna do uh, more of an inside and kind of blogging style, which is the reason why I started to produce any kind of content because I love these kind of videos. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the behind the scenes of what we do, um, and we can show you more of of what we're working on and and everything. Apart with uh, the other videos that we normally do in light, so. Yeah, let's roll with the day. It's a bit cloudy, but it's, it's gonna be okay. All right, so let's keep it going here. Let's go. It's a bit difficult to do everything and record at the same time. I have to get used to. But yeah, we're now going to our to the Nexus. Let me see. Oh, we are rain. It's okay. Mid like early, but um, yeah, in between. I had to get the tripod and everything, so yeah, a little, a little logistic problems. But yeah, I'm gonna show you how close is the the office. So yeah, basically, this is the campus. All of these buildings, all of this is the university campus, where is where we used to study. Oh well, I, I graduated in this year, so. Yeah, I'm gonna show you how close is the office yeah. from where I live. It's just basically behind this building, so... So yeah, all these buildings, this is all the campus. Oh. And then if we go right here, we have the, this building over here is just a nexus, and we have the, our office, so let's see if Mateo's there, yes, right there, so yeah, I'm pretty lucky to have this place here, super close, uh, yeah, let's see what we have for today, um, I'll see you in the next job, okay. It's almost no one. See, I guess now in summer, there's not a lot of people. We meet, always meet in the in the coffee place here in the ground floor. Have a chat, have a coffee, you know. Organize the day, and then we go up to the office. Can I have a latte, please? A latte, a drink? Yeah. Yes, yeah, we're drinking. Drink. Yeah. Look at Mateo. <laughs> With the yellow hoodie. ¿Qué va a ser, tío? Now to the office space. Let's see, we have for today, what do we have for today, Mateo? We've got to run some community projects, and then we've yeah. got to make all the branding, all the design for distributing our idea. Exactly, so, let's see. Nice. Morning, Morning. All right. how are you? Good? Good, good.
normal sitting upstairs where you guys saw, but there was people there in the, in the booth, and um, so we we came here with because there is no one. So yeah, you can speak. I don't know if the sound is gonna be really good, but yeah, let's give it a go today. In today's topic, I want to talk about the difference between if you're a developer or a designer or just a freelancer of seeing yourself as well as an entrepreneur. At the end of the day, you're constantly selling yourself um, and you should see yourself as the asset um, of self-improvement and developing your career as, your, as an individual, not, not just as a developer or just a designer, you know, seeing yourself like that. So, and that's a really key important value that we try to bring the concept to our talent in the community that we have of developers, right? That's why we started to create these projects um, with different talent to create this kind of like a startup and entrepreneurship feeling of um, if, if you have the ambition and, and then you have the, the talent uh, to put into work, then you can create things. Um, but you first need to have that money. So if I know a lot of people graduating um, now or they have already graduated uh, the last year and they're still, you know, figure out their career, which is at the beginning is the most difficult part, then, you know, you keep growing and, and it's how it works. But yeah, at the beginning, I think what it helped the most or what I have seen that helped the most is to have that um, entrepreneurship uh, kind of mindset said no a lot of people in many different universities they already do that while um they are studying but it's never late to to start no and what i mean with that is like i had seen many um interviews with developers how people re they really care more about the projects these kind of pet projects that you can do rather than just the marks or you know there is some the practical uh, practical tests which are really important, but you anybody, everybody can practice that. And you know, I re highly recommend if you're looking for a job right now, uh, reading the, the book of cracking the code interviews, really famous. But in case you don't know, I'm gonna link in the description um, the book so you can check it out. It's really useful. There is like practical question, the same one that you will you you will face in an interview, right? So, but. Yeah, apart from that, like what it really helped and what uh, interviewers want to see is that you have that initiative and you already have some experience. And the best way to do that is doing your projects by your own. These pet projects, it can be anything that you're passionate about. If you're passionate about poker, you can um, create something related with that. So, but that's really important. Just if, if you see yourself as as an entrepreneur or, be, or just a developer, but they have the initiative, or designer, they have the initiative to uh, create things in your own that really show um, some potential, high potential behind it. And if it works, it's even better. Sometimes just um, you do it for, for the fun, not to say things to learn, basically. But what it really shows, you have the initiative, you have some experience, and then you learn from the outcome um, of that project. So. That's, that will be my recommendation for today, yeah. It went pretty well. We finished more or less. We still have to do one more thing, but we're going up to see if there's no one there. But yeah, I we managed to organize the community in the, our Facebook group. And now... <laughs> I'm gonna do some designs for that, um, and yeah, um, I'm prepared today for tomorrow as well. So, pretty good. Uh, it's pretty good, and there's a lot of people around, so it's perfect. It's in it. In it. <laughs> and also, guys, I forgot to say that we have right here. I can show you. We have our, our talent hub in Facebook, our group. I will li I will link in the description in case you guys want to join. And we're basically going to be doing projects, collaboration. We have a whole program for you guys every week. We're going to have uh, different challenges um, and a lot of content right here. So if you guys are interested in joining, um, just click in the, in the description. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys there.
now we finished almost everything. We're hungry, so yeah. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Let's go home. There's no one left in the kitchen. It's pretty good. Oh, it's this is the laboratories, but we don't have access. Only you know, people from the laboratory, I guess. <laughs> we are very eco-friendly. Always the stairs, never the lift. I guess in next time. against the climate change. <laughs> That's how we bring value to the climate change. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Exactly. No, but we recycle. We do everything. Everything. All the packets. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we just go out through that door, which is the back door, but it's closer. Yeah, it was a pretty good day. It was weird to record around here, but hopefully this, there is not a lot of people. So, yeah, a pretty good day. And I think it's raining. Again. Oh, come on. I think I'm gonna leave the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoy. It's a pretty good and pretty productive morning. But yeah, we're gonna eat something. We're gonna go to our favorite like bakery shop. They have like the best sandwich in town. So we're gonna go there um, and then go home, eat, and keep working a bit on the on the evening. But it was a pretty good morning. So yeah, see you guys probably on the next one next week. Let me know if you guys enjoy this format, and I hope you guys. Uh, learn something so as well so yeah see you say bye see you guys